Okay, now let's see how you can configure your Morgan 1.1 uh, to a better configuration. So this better configuration will suit any uh, zoomed stage or character with zooms. So this will make sure not, no graphics or no picture, no part of the picture is being cut. So if you configure wrongly, so your picture might get stretched or some part of your screen might get cut. So you will not see the full picture. So inside Morgan 1.1, Morgan 1.1, there's a data folder. Go inside the data folder, there's a Morgan.config, Morgan.cfg. Open this file with any text editor. So inside this file, let's go through it. So these are, you, you can pretty much ignore it. So under this config part, under this config part, you are going to set up the parameter of game width and again height. Uh, this will decide uh, your native Morgan 1.1 resolution. This is not the output resolution, but the in-game native resolution. So for me, so for my case, I have 1280 by 720. This you can ignore. If you are willing to become a developer, so I suggest you keep this allow debug mode to 1, allow debug key to 1 um, you don't have to turn on the debug if you turn on the debug is uh, constantly on so it's ugly so you turn it off so under this video part this is the most important parameters uh, Render mode You should use OpenGL And OpenGL is the main reason you want to use Mobile 1.1 uh, If you are using DirectX uh, This DirectX is extremely old See this is a Direct, DirectX file render And DirectX file is, is extremely old It's 1998 old uh, DirectX file game, file game is like uh, Diablo 1 yeah, Diablo 1 should be using Direct, DirectX file uh, Safe mode? No And here Width and height This width and height under video should comment out use this semi comma to comment these two parameters out means these two are not active it's same as utilities you should not use this one if you config these two to a different parameter for example uh, 640 and 480 the game will have to deal with two different resolution the inside native resolution and the, the output resolution uh, during this process your game may be stretched or a little boxed or black parts so do not use these two comment, comment them out the others you can leave by default the full screen, full screen I suggest you leave it to zero why? Uh, if you use full screen equals one, uh, your game will be locked in into the full screen mode. You cannot go out. You cannot go out to window mode. But if you use full screen equals zero, you can use both window mode and the full screen. You can access the full screen by pressing Alt plus Enter. So zero means you can use both 
uh, one use a full screen because one you can only use full screen. Uh, this one resizable is okay. Uh, one or zero doesn't matter. And this one is important. Keep aspect. It means keep expect ratio. It means do not stretch your picture. Do not stretch your game. If stretch happens, your performance will suffer. FPS drop. Uh, this one doesn't matter. These two are critical, especially for character using zoom. So if you leave this to zero, that means when you are doing some super move or you, you uh, some character using the zoom controller, the screen, the picture may got cut. The lower part may got cut, so the higher part may got cut. So if you use stage fit equals one, that will ensure nothing will be cut. You always see the full picture. And uh, another meaning of this stage fit and system fit means uh, if your game is 16 by 9 uh, but your stage is 4 by 3, it will show full picture of this 4 by 3 but adding a black bar at the side and left right. So you still see the full screen, no picture got cut. This one too. This one is for the menu. But if you are using a 16 by 9 stage and your game resolution is 16 by 9, that means the game will be full resolution, no black bars. Other part, you can just leave it as default. No need to change anything. Okay, that's it.